In this video, we're going to be talking about Teyuto, a platform where you can create a video on demand service within minutes. You're going to be learning three things. Number one, the features. Number two, the pricing. And number three, how you can use this platform to scale your own business. Before we get into features, remember Teyuto is on AppSumo right now for a lifetime deal of $79. Depending on when you're watching this, it's only going to be there for the next couple of days. So make sure you get this before it's gone. Let's look at the features of the platform. With this video on demand platform, you're able to customize your channel, upload and manage your videos, earn money with putting your videos out there, you can go live with live streaming. You can see the analytics of what videos are doing well and what to focus on, and you can create your own audience. Now, looking at the difference of a lot of different video on demand platforms, what stands out with Tiuto? I go down to how I can monetize my channel. I can have subscriptions, one-time costs, coupons, gift cards, all those things, but you can also have free trial so I can have an onboarding section of having people try it out for seven days before they pay and 0% transaction fee. That's a big point because if you're looking at Vimeo OTT, Uscreen, the list goes on and on. Most of the platforms, if not all of them, take a percentage above your transaction fees, right? So keep in mind, you're still going to be paying because you have Stripe. You're still going to be paying the Stripe fees, but on top of that, usually OTT or or video on demand platforms take an additional fee on top of that. Teyuto is very unique in this aspect that they're not taking a percentage after their transaction. No matter if you're going to create your website or decide to have it as an app, and that will be an additional cost if you decide to have it as a mobile app, you don't have to worry about coding. To get started with this platform, there's no need to learn how to code at all. We're going to look a little bit more in depth with the different features. This is the back end once you log in. You have the dashboard here, which allows me to see the delivery of minutes, the storage minutes, live streaming. I can see all of this at a glance. To upload a new video, it just takes a few moments. I can say new video, decide to upload, live stream, or video quiz. When I'm looking at the organization, I can decide to have a series, package, or different categories. This allows me to decide to have my own curated feel of my platform in my content. I plan on using this platform to do all of my Web3 in crypto content. So I'm going to have my content that is on YouTube, kind of like the top of the funnel where people can find me. And then I'm going to have them be able to access some free videos, but really I'm having them enroll so they can be on my platform as well. This allows me to have different series, potentially free series, and then I can have a paid section as well. And then I can also create a subscription if I want to in the future. Going down into the settings, I can change out the logo here. I can change out the currency. I can change out the SEO for the landing page. I can go here for a custom page. Integration, so if I want to do more details for either Zapier to trigger other events to happen, and I, I see that I can have new user, new charge, new subscription, so I can have different alerts going off, maybe in Slack, those kind of things. And if I want to do, uh, if I want to have a Facebook pixel, so I can redirect maybe on ads or something like that, and I can have Google Analytics to have a more robust look at my analytics and what's happening on the platform. If I choose to have an app, and this is a custom feature. You're going to have to reach out to support and discuss having that. But I can have an Android, iOS, and Android TV app as well with this platform. For promotions, I can generate coupons pretty easily right here. And I can also send emails as well. I can decide to send emails based on registered payers, registered but not payers. That's interesting. So ones that perhaps are... Uh, doing a free trial, I'm going to be sending them an email to try to incentivize them to become paid clients or paid customers. Depends. If I'm looking at analytics, I can look at daily sessions, activated purchases, delivery minutes, registered users, and most relevant categories in terms of delivery minutes. This allows me to see if I have different categories, what's working and what's not working with my target audience. Now that we've looked at the features of the platform, let's take a look at the pricing. Like I mentioned before, 
If you're watching this video and AppSumo, the AppSumo deal is live, make sure that you pick this up. It's $79 for a lifetime deal and there are two different levels. Number one, for $79 lifetime, you get 1,500 total video storage minutes, which is incredible. You get one admin for the account, 10,000 delivery minutes per month, and up to four gig max for file size. So each video you have, it's up to four gigs. So it depends on what kind of content you're creating. You might have to change the resolution or how big the file is. What I would look at if you're thinking about, well, wait a minute, Doc, 1,500 minutes, that's not enough. I have a huge library. I would also take a look at starting out with your best of material, right? Maybe you're cutting down, you won't upload everything. Or I would look at where are you in your audience right now? Because you can get either a license tier one or tier two, and you can pay additionally if you go over those, those limits. I like tier two, where you're getting 3,000 total video storage minutes, five, five admins, 20,000 delivery minutes, 10 gigs for the max file size, and 600 live streaming and live chat minutes per month. I think that's a game changer because now you can start having a whole different experience with your audience. And we'll go over in the next section in a moment why I think this is so powerful. And additionally, you get live streaming instant poll so you can get feedback from what your audience is liking with your live streaming and you can remove Powered by Teyuto. That allows you to have a full white labeled platform that can work for you. If you miss the deal, make sure that you take a look at teyuto.com slash pricing to take a look at what they have. I'm going to focus on two different ones, essentials and premium. The reason I'm going to look at this is even though if you miss the AppSumo deal, this is still a very good deal because if you're looking at any other platform, you're still going to be looking at the charge per month and it's, it's looking at 99 euros per month. But depending on how many subscribers, you're still going to be charged how many subscribers you have. So if you're going to be charging $5.99 or $7.99 or $10 per month, remember other platforms are going to be taking anywhere from like 1.9 or 2.5% on top of the Stripe fees. So really, in general, you're taking 5% away from your take-home money. This, you're paying a set amount. That's it. Doesn't matter how many subscribers or, you know, fans you have, that's it. And it comes with the basics of your custom page, basic skin customization, integrations. So you can create a lot of different automations. Premium, if I'm having an audience that I, I need to do more things with them, for example, live streaming, or I want this to be totally custom where people do not see that this is Teyuto, then you can remove the, the branding for 400 a month. Additionally, the videos go up to 4K, so the quality increases, but this allows you to have a whole other experience with your audience. It's more pricey. I wouldn't go up in price unless you have an audience that is already asking you for a lot of these features. So I would start with 99, make sure I would build up the audience, let them know what you're thinking. You could say, hey, we're going to have another tier that is going to be live streaming, let me know what you think and then make it more expensive or test out the pricing before you go there. I just think it really depends on your audience and where you are with your business. In the comment section down below, are you just getting started or are you an established brand looking for a streaming platform for your brand? And let's talk about the last part. Who is this for? How do I plan to use this and how can you use this to scale your brand? Having a platform for streaming allows you to have your own ecosystem to build and expand your brand. No matter if you're a influencer, an independent creator, a filmmaker, a media company, having your own streaming platform, you now can control your own ecosystem. Even if you're featured on Netflix, Disney, whatever, you're building on someone else's land. Having your own streaming network and being able to scale and decide on your own pricing, your structures of subscriptions, and be able to even bring in other artists, creators, influencers on your platform, it gives you the advantage. This platform also allows you to create your own terms of service. Depending on what kind of content you're creating, you can now use this to build up whatever kind of media you're looking to create.
This also allows you to have more authority. If you have your own streaming network, how many in your industry have that? None. <laughs> I mean, very few. This is becoming a norm that even prominent YouTubers having their channel on YouTube, but then having their own streaming network where they can control the content and really have more revenue and more control of what they're going to be doing. If you're using social media like YouTube or others, if you're doing something where you can get a strike against it or they can take down your material, if you're having your own streaming network, that is what you own. You can have that. It's not going to be censored or whatever is going to be happening. You can now scale and approach whatever you want with your content and also have an exclusive community. You're seeing this a lot of times with influencers or creators with Patreon accounts and things like that. I think Patreon is very good and it is a great option. Having your own streaming network, it can be a lot more professional and you can scale in a way that Patreon is more of a community and having aspects if you want to add videos and things like this. This is built. This is built for monetizing your video to have the the framework, the UI, UX, all of those components built just like a premium streaming network like Disney Plus or Netflix or things like that. Now, are you going to have all of the huge features like a Netflix? Well, you don't know because that's millions of dollars, but this is a really good starting point. And not only that, there is something coming soon where they're either, they're also going to be having a uh, the API for video. So if you're a developer and you want to be using this or customizing what you're doing and want to be using the framework or the components of this platform, that's coming soon as well. There's a lot to like about Teuto and where they're going. You don't see video on demand platforms like this come around that often. And so as you can see on this channel, we have gone through almost 20 different videos of different uh, platforms, what we use, what we'd like, all those things. This one is our platform of choice for 2021. And we're excited to see what they do in 2022. Let me know in the comment section down below your questions, where you're at in your business. Are you just thinking about building your own brand? Are you thinking about branching off and having your own platform or your own ecosystem? Let me know. Or perhaps you're an influencer and you're already using another platform and you're deciding on shifting or changing the platform. Let me know in the comment section down below. What I would encourage everyone to do is focus on where you're at and where you want to go and then see if this is a good choice in selection for you. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure that you like and subscribe because we do this every single week. I'll see you in the next video.